Hey y'all, I got a little story about truck stops and a new Bucky's, and it, it might make you mad. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Bucky's again. I know everyone loves Bucky's, right? We all know what they are. Huge gas station, huge lot. They don't let trucks in. Not even Bobtail, right? So there's always the discussion it's they should let truckers in, we should boycott Bucky's. Uh, and then on the other side, it's, it's just a gas station. Stop complaining. Well, I used to be on the boycott side when I, they first started coming out and you first started seeing them. Because, we, you know, I'd be in the truck and I'd like to go in there, but I couldn't because I saw the sign that said no trucks. So I didn't go in and I thought, well, I'm not going into Bucky's until they let trucks on their lot. And then as time went on and I heard the arguments on both sides and then I found out some things like, one, their parking lots are not made to sustain the weight of big trucks, right? Only the parts, the approaches in the spots where they're actually taking their fuel and grocery deliveries are reinforced in those spots, but not the whole rest of the lot. And plus, if you look at it, the whole lot, as big as it is, 99% of the time you go in there, it's full of cars anyway. There's really not room to put truck parking anyway. Plus, have you seen a truck stop lately? Or a Walmart parking lot? They don't let us in there anymore either. Or have you seen the exit ramps? Like this one where I stop pretty often. What they look like on the side of the road. All this trash, all this junk I've seen old tires i've seen pee bottles and who knows what else that and the smell right now i don't think that this stuff's been put out here by four wheelers at least not most of it i'm sure most of it these are this is truck driver leaving stuff i've seen old placards and and taillight rings and all sorts of things so why would bucky's want that on their lot they don't so i changed my mind i like bucky's we stop in there whenever we're traveling. So the story though I have about the truck stops and the Buckies in Ohio, in Uber Heights, Ohio, near Dayton, at I-70 and Ohio 235, there's a big intersection there with a lot of room. And in the fall of 22, last year, just a few months ago, about a year ago, I guess, they rezoned that to put two truck stops in that area. Two truck stops. The landowner wanted truck stops, he said, and something happened here recently, and I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what led up to it if the landowner changed his mind. I don't know. But instead of that, they've scrapped the plans for the truck stops, and they're approved a Bucky's location at that, at that intersection. It's gonna be like 74,000 square feet, the second largest location behind their one in Tennessee. And the Huber Heights Planning Commission approved it last week. And it goes on to the city council. And I don't know, I don't know if the locals get the vote on it or not, probably not. They said they still have some zoning things they need to do. They need to come up with some plans for road improvements on Highway 235 there so they can handle the traffic do traffic studies, all that kind of stuff. So there's no real timeline on when all this is gonna happen, but they say it's about four months to get the rezoning stuff done, and then a typical Bucky's takes about a year and a half to build. So I'm kind of torn on this, whether I like it or not, because we do need truck stops. We need more truck parking. We need all that. Now, will I stop there if it's a Bucky's? If I'm in Ohio sometime? Probably. Uh, the people in Uber Heights have got to, you know, decide whether they want the Bucky's or the truck stops. And if they don't want the truck stop, it might make you think, why do they not want truck stops? I bet there's lots of truck stops that could be built, but because of the way that they're usually taken care of by the truck drivers, people don't want them there. So they, they, turn them down in their jurisdictions or whatever. So there's a Bucky's coming to Uber Heights, Ohio, and not truck stops. Tell me what you think about 
No truck stops, but the Buckies. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you, if you are on which side you're on. And one good thing about being on one side or the other, we can respectfully disagree, right? Uh, unless you're on a Facebook page and you can say what you want. Let me know what you think. Stick around, watch more videos. I'll put some up. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you have, I really appreciate that too. And we'll see you.